and I do a lot of gigs in the West Country because my agent is on it. And, <laughs> and a lot of public transport, a lot of that nonsense, quite long journeys quite often, and uh, late one night, about three or four weeks ago, I was coming into Paddington, which is a phrase that my eight-year-old self would have been appalled by. <laughs> but still drinking. You know, it's very funny, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, obviously, I was coming late into Paddington Railway Terminus, or not the popular beloved children's fiction movie. And I'd fallen asleep on the train, right? I was in the quiet coach. You know the quiet coach? The special coach on the train where you're meant to be permitted to fall asleep without being interrupted by the mobile phones and the Walkmans. The Walkmans? What the fuck is it, man? <laughs> what do you fucking say now? It's not, it's not even an iPods anymore. It's just your phone. It's just your device. It's gotten more and more vague over the years. Walkman, iPod, phone, device. And device is too vague for my taste. You know, it can be preceded by, you know, improvised roadside or incendiary, you know, one of those things. But anyway, there was a lady. So I'm in the quiet coach and I'm asleep. And I consider that to be my legal, moral, human right. But I was awakened, awoken by the lady opposite me on the quiet coach. And she woke me up because she was yapping into her device. <laughs> And she went, I'll be home in 15 minutes. I don't know why she went, I think, I think she was ill. But she went, I'll be home in 15 minutes. And she hung up and she woke me up. And I was cross and startled, miffed, seized with a burning desire to kidnap her. <laughs> Just to prove the bitch wrong. <laughs> That's how I do business. <clears throat> but before I go, I thought I would do more. 